One tenancy agreement. Please tell me I'm not going to be homeless. Talk to me. It's water time. I must say I'm impressed. Fergus has created an inextricable thing of beauty. In English. You can sell it. And if the new owners don't want you in the flat, they can give you one month's notice. You said you was going to wipe the walls with Fergus. Right, that you could crush him in your sleep. I underestimated his business acumen. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do to break the contract. What about Perry? She's been on the streets before. I can't let her go through that again, can I? Leah and Lucas, right, I have to keep a roof over our heads. It won't come to that. You've got me. I, I wouldn't see any of you homeless. We can't all stay in your gaff, can we? And I'm not splitting my family up. Let's not panic just yet. Don't panic. I have sold our house to Fergus, and now he's snatching it from under us. And James, you were telling me there's not a thing I can do about it. All right, girls. Hey. Do you fancy a family dinner tonight? We need a bit of a comp club. About what? The house. It's all a bit of a pickle, to be honest. Pickle? That's the colour in the paint shop Perry nearly picked. <laughs> paint? Yeah, we're going to redecorate my room. You don't mind, do you? We just nipped out to get a roller. Look, Steve, I know Fergus wants to sell. But Jewel says James is on the case. And I know you'd never let us lose our home. It, it's where I grew up. And after what that creep Timmy did, we just want to reclaim our space. Knock yourselves out. I can't believe our little house is worth all that. Well, it is on the city walls of Chester. Edwardian pastiche, solid in stature, very bijou. You've been hanging around your mother too long. Mm. It's going to be snapped up. You need to think of a plan of action. Hey, why don't I have a pop at applying for the mortgage? I'm a first-time buyer. That Martin off the teller, he said that's a good thing. Have you got no deposit? No capital? Dreadful credit history. I mean, you're an ex-criminal on minimum wage with no qualifications. Thanks for the confidence boost. My pet is currently in a bedroom measuring up for new curtains. In a few weeks' time, she ain't even gonna have a window to hang them from. Well, she might, if you let me buy the house for you. It's wonderful. Thanks, Giles. Giles, only you could have a pal named that. Go on. <clears throat> my financial advisor is in agreement. I just have to grab my laptop, move some money around, and put an offer in on your house. I, I still, I don't know what to say. Nothing. It's a win-win. You get to keep your house, and I get a sound investment. Romance isn't dead, then. I am doing it because I care about you. Feels a little bit like a bailout, but I'll take it. It means I can keep my family together and safe, so thank you. We've gone a little bit mad with the feet wall in my bedroom, I'm afraid. Well, go for your life, Pez, because guess what? James is going to buy a house for us. We're getting our home back. <laughs> Kids, what pizza do you want? I'm gonna put extra pineapple on mine, so I'm in the mood to celebrate. <laughs> there he is. Just got off the phone with the estate agent. Did you put the offer in? It was too late. They'd already sold the house. What? It's daylight robbery and it's second hand. Pre-loved. Oi! Trish! Go on then. Who is it? Who's bought our house? You can't do this to us. I think you'll find that Fergus and Warren can do what they want with their own property empire. I just don't get involved. You must know something. I I'll up their offer. Mm, too late, I'm afraid. So how long have we got? When do we have to leave and who has bought it? Actually. I think that this village could do with a few more upmarket residents. And I have seen a fantastic villa in Cancun. That's my family home you're talking about. Was, sweetheart. Still is. Leela, you're back. Oh. <laughs> Who might you be? Well, I'm her man. His sister. And your worst nightmare, love. So that little trip to Cancun, I'd book it one way if I was you. 
I didn't know you were coming home. Yeah, well, I wanted to surprise us. But we've got a surprise for you. They've just sold our house. We're getting evicted. Well, how can we get evicted when we own the place? Yeah, it's me that's bought the house. So we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back, Leela.